So on the end of the command arm here you've got your command center display where you can display your settings and all your uh, vehicle parameters. Then the command arm itself here is where all your operator controls are. So you've got your um, control lever for the transmission here. You've got your hitch lift and lower. You've got your SCV levers there, there and here, up to five of those. You've got your switch here for triggering iTech which controls the uh, implement sequence on the headland. You've got your steering resume button down there and of course here is your PTO on off. When you want to make any settings on the tractor then you go to the side console over here and uh, it consists of your quick access buttons in this area. This top area here is for the uh, three-point hitch. This one here is for the SCVs with a picture of a cylinder on and then at the back you've got direct access to engine settings, transmission, iTech and PTO settings. In addition to this you've got a load of navigation buttons and uh, hot keys that you can set to help you navigate around the screen. You've got uh, a home button here which will always bring you straight back to the home page which is displayed now. You've got a accept button and a cancel button and the main menu button as well. These lettered buttons here always refer to this side of the screen here where you can see each of these squares has a letter in it so I can simply if I want to select D I can just go here press button D and that in this instance has changed the way the mode the transmission is operating in. Then moving further back we have the radio controls here for volume, moving station, mute etc. You have your lighting switches down here and then climate control is in this area here where you've got fan speed or more commonly it'll be set into automatic or air conditioning on off temperature switch and then auto air distribution if you're running in full auto mode so the side console is used for settings the driver controls are all here on the actual command arm itself So if we want to take a simple example where we're hitching an implement on we can reverse up to the implement use the hitch control here to lower the arms to connect the implement on and then when it's first connected one of the first things we're probably going to adjust is a lift height limit so we directly press the lift height limit the screen goes straight to this and you can see here as I use the scroll wheel this little bar graph is coming down which is setting the lift height limit okay then we'd want to go on and say set rate of drop so I first of all tick that which now has uh, locked that setting in then I go to the rate of drop button and now I can straight away adjust my implement rate of drop again when I'm happy with the setting I just tick it again on the side console to confirm it and then we might want to set when we're in the field our position and draft so you've got full draft control up this end full position control down that end so again we'd adjust that in the field when we're happy with the setting tick it then the final one we're going to use is we would have been adjusting the implement depth on this lever here. When we're happy with the implement depth, we'll just click set. And that's now filled this in and that's set my depth setting. So from now on, when I come to a headland, I lift the hitch up by clicking and it will lift up to my preset lift height limit. When I want to go back to the set depth, I just put it down until it clicks and it will go to my new, to my set depth. If you want to adjust the depth any time, you can adjust it manually on here and then just reset it by pressing depth set. Final button is the lockout here. This locks the hitch out on the road and switches on hitch dampening to give suspension for the implement.